what is up you lovely lot welcome back to the channel today we're off to the antique and collectible fair um, this is a little local collectible fair but it does have a pretty epic coin store there now before the pandemic i used to do this series once a week on the channel coin stall hall where i used to head down there buy a few bits and show you what i bought and today we're going to finally be able to do it again it's back open hopefully the coin man's there i'm going to head down i'm going to try and take you guys with me get a bit of footage inside first things first let's go and get some cash always use cash of course um more chance of getting collectible coins in your change and we've got to fight this cashless society <laughs> right let's do it i'll see you in a bit Right, we're back home in our usual habitat. Bought a few bits. Um, tried to get a little bit of footage in there, but they weren't too keen on me filming too much. So tried to get some footage of just a couple of the stalls. We'll see how that comes out. If it was any good, you'll have seen it just now. And let's see what we bought. Well, the first thing was this box and it wasn't from the coin store. It was from a different stall in there. But I just loved it. Of course, looks like an old crown, like the old Victorian crowns. St. George slaying the dragon. It's just awesome. So I grabbed that. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but we'll find some use for it, I'm sure. And uh, maybe we'll keep our crown collection in there. Probably not, but <laughs> we'll find something to do with it. Lovely little thing. And then let's get on to the coins. Okay. First up. We've got an Isle of Man 50p. Let's get them out of here because I'm going to flip them straight after this video anyway. Now, it's not in perfect condition. You can see some luster on it, but there's also a couple of marks on it too, especially to the right of the ship there. But it's not a design I had already, so pick this up. As you can see on the thing, it says five pounds. It gives us a little bit off, so didn't quite pay five pounds. But just a mintage of just 100,000 on this, 1971. Isle of Man, 50 pence, lovely stuff. Maybe top end for that price-wise, but the benefit of buying in person, being able to go there, you're not paying postage. Next up, we have a pound coin, a few territories to kick us off, and this is St. Helena. Get 
it out of the flip or the little pocket. And there we go, 1984 St. Helena, one pound. Again, not perfect, a little bit of something up at the top there. But I do like the two birds. I think they're known as the wide awake birds. Officially, they're sooty turns, but I think it's the noises they make keep you wide awake. So they're known as the wide awake birds. And also the name of the Ascension Island World War II airfield, well, um, the wide awake airfield named after the birds. Now this, we already have, but at three quid, I couldn't leave it. I just couldn't leave it. And again, we get a little bit off, so didn't even pay three quid for it. Isle of Man, Vintage Rally, lovely, lovely coin. We already have it. I'll see if it's any better than the one we've got. If not, I'll just stash it away because at three quid, that is absolutely brilliant. Love it. Okay, now this one. It's just a Navy Centenary, right? Six quid, they were all six quid, the ones he was selling. But I spotted that this one has the flag error on it. And we've never found a flag error. So I've paid up a little bit. I haven't found one for face value yet. I probably will now, <laughs> now that we've uh, we've got this one. But of course, mintage of the whole figure is, uh, for all of the coins is 650,000. How many with this? die damage flag error at the top there is unknown but I think going online you're looking at probably eight to twelve pounds somewhere around that for a full flag error so a nice little buy and one we didn't have so love that a little bit of something behind the Queen's head there which is a shame but nice had to grab that okay on to a few world coins now there is one more UK coin but we're saving the best for last and I just love this. Again, I've probably paid up a bit on this at five pounds, less a little bit. So probably four pounds, but I just loved the look of it, the condition, the toning on it. And it's an Australian 1962 sixpence. Lovely, lovely stuff. And I don't have one in this nice of a grade, so why not add a really nice one? to the collection for a few quid. Again, a little bit of toning, not as not as extreme as uh, the reverse, but on the obverse, a little bit of toning around the edge. Queen Elizabeth II there, lovely coin. A couple more world coins. This one is Italian. That's 50% silver, by the way, that Australian one, 44 million minted. So not super scarce, but it was the condition that grabbed me. Now we've got another bit of silver. This is Italian. And on this one, we had six quid. And this is 83.5% silver and a minage of 24 million. And it's a 500 lira from 1958. And on this side, we see Columbus's ships Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria. And then on the other side, we've got an Italian woman from the time, surrounded by, I think it's shields for certain regions or cities in Italy. So lovely stuff again. And we have a coin from the German States or Prussia. It's a two marks. And this is just pre-World War One, 1913. Did have 1916 on here, but they don't exist for that year. Definitely a 1913 one, we can see it there. And we've got Wilhelm or William II. And this is the coin commemorating 25 years of his reign. So didn't last much longer than this, but a nice little coin, 1.5 million minted which is fairly scarce, lovely stuff. All right, one more bit of silver, and it is a Bermudan crown. Again, probably paid up a little bit on this, has 12 on it, and he done this for me for a tenner, 1964. 470,000 minted, it's just 50% silver. But what I really liked was this nice large effigy of the Queen here. 
not perfect condition, a couple of marks on this side, but some quite bad scratches to the left here. Doesn't actually come through as much on the camera, to be honest, but in, in hand, it's quite bad there. Uh, but nice coin nonetheless. Probably what I overpaid for the most on the day, but still nice. And then what I've been looking for for a little while is a 1951 penny. He had 38 on this. He didn't have it out. I said, have you got any 1951 pennies? I looked for all, these, all of his other pennies. And he said, you know what? I've just marked one up. I just haven't put it out yet. He said, I've got 38 on it. You can have it for 30. So I said, oh, let's have a look then. And I had a look at it. And I could not say no. This is a very scarce coin, just 120,000 minted. Uh, minted primarily, well, solely, I think, for colonial use. Most of them went out to Bermuda. And it is just in lovely, lovely shape. For £30, I couldn't pass it up. I'd say online you're looking at 50, 50 plus for something like this. Maybe even more than that. Let me know what you think. I think this is a great, great buy. It fills the last gap in my date run, at least back to the mid 1880s. So let me know if you want to see a video about my penny date run because it's coming along quite nicely now. And that is by far the nicest one I've got of them all for sure. It's time to start upgrading some other dates now on those and get them all in a grade like this or, or even better. It's not perfect, a bit of a mark in front of his eye there. But it is a lovely, lovely coin. I am chuffed with that. Let me know what you think. But yeah, all in all, I spent 72 quid. That was four quid on the box, which wasn't too bad. He said four quid. I didn't want to knock him down. It's only four quid, isn't it? Uh, 30 on the penny, 10 are on the crown, and then 28 for the rest. I think 36 it came to on the tickets. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Let me know what you think. Drop us a th thumbs up. Let me know how you enjoyed this episode of Coin Store Hall. It's been a long time since we've been able to do one. And hopefully next week we can go down there again and do another one. Can't wait already. <laughs> awesome. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and leave us a comment, of course. Take it easy.